Hey everyone, Rowan Hero Brian here, owner of Hero Brian Productions, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video for all of the Hero Brian Productions projects that we are currently working on. I'm going to be doing all of these in order from least questions to most questions, which means I will be going in this order. Nether Update Expanded, Piggy the Classic, Piggy Clash, Piggy Book 3. The questions I'm going to be answering in this video are ones that have either been asked by various members of the community over the past several months, or ones that I just kind of felt like answering even though they haven't necessarily been asked yet. So if you are interested in only specific questions for a specific project, there will be timestamps down in the description of this video to help you get to that project. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. For Nether Update Expanded. What is Nether Update Expanded? Nether Update Expanded is a Minecraft Java Edition Vanilla Plus Forge mod that enhances the Nether, basically. It used to be more centered around the Nether Update, hence the name Nether Update Expanded, but recently we've started moving forward to future versions, currently 1.20.1. Is Beta 1.24 still coming? Yes. However, I've been focusing on other projects for the time being, so when it does release it will most likely be closer to maybe october something like that i'm not sure i think that might be a good date so most likely later in the year than most of the first updates in a year release because again i have been focusing on other projects namely piggy the classic and book three why does the flues no longer spawn so the flues was a weird mob it was more of an annoyance than anything. The only thing it did was make a lot of loud noise and drop ink sacks. And neither of those are particularly useful. It was just made as a source of getting ink sacks in the nether. And I had another musical purpose intended for it at some point, but then that was taken by the liar route when I made beta 1.23. So there was really no reason to keep the flues as it currently is. So it will either be revamped in the future or possibly removed completely. Why was Noob's Gold removed? Noob's Gold was a feature I had implemented back in 2021 that I was intending for like a multiplayer purpose basically. It was just a prank item pretty much. You would just, you know, you could switch out someone's gold items for Noob's Gold. And so they go to use their gold pickaxe or whatever, and it just breaks after one usage. However, there was also going to be a second usage of tricking piglins, of having a chance to be able to barter with piglins using Noob's Gold, but if they catch you, they will aggro on you. However, I was not able to figure out how to implement that, so that never became a thing. And Noob's Gold just in general did not fit in the mod anymore, so we removed Noob's Gold. What will Beta 1.24 contain? The main thing I was focusing on several months ago was combining all of the different Shroomlit mobs into one. Because now we are using the Gecko Lib mod inside of Nether Update Expanded to allow us to animate mobs and also have them like change their textures and stuff like that. So now there is proper implementation for Shroomlits to be biome based without each variant having to be a separate mob. Also, I am working on implementing a couple of my old ideas I had had way back a long time ago in the beginning. So more info will probably come out on those soon. One of them is actually really, really cool. So I really hope I'm able to release it with 1.24. And now we're on to Piggy the Classic. What is Piggy the Classic? Piggy the Classic is a little fan game I've been working on over the past month that basically uh, simulates what a classic integration for Piggy could have been had it taken part of the, in the classic event. I know Piggy did a classic chapter, but Minitoon started work on that after I started work on this. And also, we had kind of different ideas on it. He went with just a classic chapter, and that was it, while mine is supposed to be replicating the event in general. Like, what if Piggy did the event? When does it release? We were planning on releasing it before May 31st, but we ended up not being able to do that. We also were not able to release it in June. I'm hoping we're able to release it this month, 
However, we've been having some issues in the animation and music parts of development, so for the time being, I'm going to say I'm not sure. I'm also kind of struggling on the gameplay for one of the endings, so I'm not entirely sure when we'll be able to get that finished. Is it an official piggy chapter? No, it's a fan game. Is it canon to book three? No. Is it canon to Piggy Clash? Maybe. We haven't actually decided on that yet. Will it have any lore hints like the hunt did? Maybe. Maybe. You'll have, you'll have to wait and see on that one. It, it might have one or two. How many badges will it have? It will have 15 badges, just like each actual integration in the classic. 10 ticks badges, and then 5 token badges. And now, on to Piggy Clash. What is Piggy Clash? Piggy Clash is a fan-made piggy event that basically is kind of like RB Battles, but specifically revolving around piggy fan games. So basically, 16 competitors, just like in RB Battles, would be competing in a bunch of piggy fan games for the prize and all that. There would be the normal quarterfinals, semifinals, battle back and finale, and then each game would also have its own integration. Will it be a prize? Yes. It will most likely be a Robux prize. We haven't been able to determine the exact amount yet, but it will probably be at least 10,000 Robux. What games are taking part? We are not going to be sharing that info yet, as we're not close to the event happening yet. We will probably start revealing what games are taking part around the time we start revealing the competitors. When will it happen? We're not sure. We're still in much earlier stages of development than we would have liked to be. Unfortunately, when you're trying to plan an event of this caliber and everyone is busy with stuff like school and work, it's kind of difficult. So it has taken us a very long time to get everything planned out, and we still need to make the actual hub game, and we still need to plan a lot of stuff out. So please bear in mind that it will be a while before we're ready for the event. Is it an official Roblox event? No. That would be cool, but no. Is it an official Piggy event? Also no. That would also be very cool though, but no. Is it canon to PiggyCon? Yes. We are indeed partnered with PiggyCon, another event, basically a yearly like convention for Piggy Online. And yes, our storyline is canon to their storyline. They both take place in the same multiverse. And also, the Piggy Clash storyline will be important to Piggy Con's storyline, and vice versa. And now, for what most of you are probably here for, Piggy Book 3. Is it official and canon to Piggy? No, it is a fan game made for fans. We are not part of any development groups that are working on official Piggy games. So we are not official Piggy developers. We are just making a fan game. Is this the same one you were working on back in 2021? No. The original Book 3 fan game from 2021 eventually was turned into the Piggy Chronicles in 2022, and then in early 2023 that was cancelled completely, so that game never saw the light of day. That is not the same fan game as the one currently being worked on. The one currently being worked on was first conceptualized in sometime in mid-2023, and then development started in July 2023, as just a small little thing I would do in my off time. And then around December, I finally started taking it a bit more seriously, and I revealed the game on January 1st of this year. Does Epic Tank work for Book 3? There was a lot of confusion on this when we first announced the game because Epic Tank was listed on the banner as a developer. This was due to a slight miscommunication uh, because Epic Tank wasn't entirely sure whether he wanted to be listed as a developer or not. He wanted to be on the image, but we weren't really sure how to do that without having him on the list of developers. So we just left him on there and confusion resulted. He's not a full developer for the game, 
he helps with scripting problems and he helps provide some models and stuff like that but he's not a full developer he's just a major contributor when does it release again we're not sure it will most likely be a few months at least I know I've been saying that for more than a few months, but it will most likely be at least a few more months. We do plan on having it out this year, however, there is a non-zero chance that we may not be able to. So again, like I said previously with Piggy Clash, please keep in mind that it may not be coming out soon. It will eventually release, but not necessarily very soon. Will there be a trailer released soon? I wouldn't necessarily say soon on this either, because again, we're not entirely sure. I wouldn't release a trailer until we're right about to enter the testing phase for the game. Which means once the game is mostly ready, then we will begin working on the trailer. Is the game multiplayer? Yes. It will have support for up to six players, just like Piggy. What ending does Book 3 follow? This, I'm not ready to answer yet because it's something I want to keep secret for now. However, this question will be answered when we do make the trailer. Will there be quest skins and traps? Yes. Probably not on launch, but there will be some added later. Will there be limited skins and traps? I'll be honest, I'm becoming less of a fan of the concept of limited skins, but maybe. I would say maybe it it will probably happen. It may not necessarily be my choice to make the skin limited. It could be a request of one of the other developers, or if it's part of a collaboration, it could be a request of the game we're collaborating with. But it probably wouldn't be my choice, unless I change my mind. But I'm not a huge fan of the idea of limited skins anymore. And then traps, there could very well be limited alt traps, but I don't like the idea of making a trap with a unique functionality permanently unobtainable. If it's something like the inflatable trap where it comes back every year, that's a bit more likely. But even then, maybe not. Will there be Book 1 and Book 2 skins? Yes. They will be available for purchase. Yes. Will data from ownership of skins, traps, and abilities be carried over from the main game to Book 3? No. For a couple of reasons. So it is possible to do something like this, but we would need to be working directly with Minitune to accomplish this, and Minitune is very busy. He probably would not have the time to implement this functionality, and even if he did, the result of doing something like that would be every single person begging for this to be implemented in their fan game as well. It's something that I'm not entirely sure is worth it. Will there be new characters? Yes. What game modes will be in the game? We plan on launching with the main seven game modes from Piggy, so bot, player, player plus bot, infection, traitor, swarm, and tag. However, we're not entirely sure if Tag will be ready by the time we want to release, so Tag might be released in a later update. We're not entirely sure. We will at least have the main six. Tag might just be added later, and then after that we might add new game modes. Will it be similar to the main game for the gameplay? For a lot of it, yeah. It'll feel somewhat similar at the very least. We're trying to keep a, a mostly similar feel to the main game while also, you know, somewhat innovating on the idea. Not having it be exactly the same as the main game. It'll be, it'll definitely be similar, but it's not going to be exactly the same. We're, we're gonna try and change up some parts of it at least a little bit. And this may be, this may be less apparent on launch. But in the future, in future chapters especially, we're going to try and change different aspects and maybe switch up parts of the gameplay a little. Will there be a build mode? Most likely not. It would be very difficult to maintain and not worth it in my opinion, especially considering Piggy already has its own build mode. Does this also follow the new lore from the Lost Book, Pig 64, Misfits, and Inner City? No. 
None of the official Piggy spinoffs are canon to book three. Only books one and two and The Hunt. Any other games are not canon to book three as book three takes place in like an alternate timeline where instead of getting the last book, Pig 64, Misfits and Inner City, we got book three. Will Piggy Clash be involved in the story? No. Book three is not a multiversal story. Piggy Clash does not but canonically take place in relation to the Piggy Book 3 universe. Will there be collaborations? Yes, we have five or something like that lined up at the moment in the planning process, and that number may increase. Most of them probably won't be immediately upon launch, but they may be somewhat early on. We haven't decided yet. Will there be a roleplay or open world game? Probably not. It's not something that I particularly want to be doing myself. So if we do ever go the route of having an official roleplay game, it will probably be in partnership with an existing Piggy roleplay game, having them officially host our characters and maps in their roleplay game. And even that would probably be in the very far future. I don't have any plans for that at the moment. And finally, what are the dev testing update logs for? The dev testing update logs are update logs that we release whenever we publish something to the game for the developers to test, hence dev testing update logs. Basically, they're just kind of there for us to be a bit transparent about what we're working on, and also so that you can see that we are in fact working on the game behind the scenes, that there is stuff being put out. And it also serves as a bit of a teaser, as, you know, you might see little things that you might not have expected would be in the game, or, you know, in, in general, little, little hints at what could be in the game, or direct confirmation in some of these cases. It, it's something that I think is cool to be doing. It definitely helps with transparency, in my opinion. Like, it, it shows what we're focusing on, especially. I will say though, not everything we're doing for the game is in these update logs because those are only the stuff we are publishing to the game itself. Anything like building the maps and modeling the characters, stuff like that is not put in the update logs until those are added to the game itself. And with that, that concludes the Q&A video. I'm sorry I took so long to do this, I kind of just forgot for several months and then just didn't have the motivation to do it for a while, but glad I finally got around to it. I was, I was really, I really wanted to do this, so glad I could get this out, because I also haven't posted on my YouTube channel in a while, so probably good that I can get a video out now. And I might, I might do some more YouTube videos soon, I'm not sure, I might get motivation at some point. But yeah, if you if you liked this video, uh, consider maybe subscribing, consider maybe uh, following our studio on Twitter, maybe joining our group on Roblox. It would be greatly appreciated, and peace out!